What's going on guys? So this is a Sony Trinitron 1999 CRT TV and this TV unfortunately has issues. The issue it has is there's a crack in the neck of the tube which is causing air arcing. As air goes inside the tube it's arcing on the inside of this electron gun assembly. So I'm just going to show you where the crack is. I did find a crack before this video. And I just wanted to make a video and share with you all what you can technically do to fix the problem. And really, what you can do is nothing. You can't do anything to fix the problem. I mean, once there's a crack in the tube, the tube is done. But you can go ahead and get a good look at the um, gun, the yoke, the convergence rings the um, electron gun assembly, and I did completely disassemble this unit. I took the tube out, the everything pretty much besides the speakers still in the case right there, but everything works on the TV besides the tube, has issues, the flyback, the, um, the circuit board, the yoke panel, everything works besides this. And I am surprised that everything works because this CRT has been sitting outside for many years, as you can kind of tell in the in the, um, the condition that it's in. You can see some rust down there on the circuit board right there. You can see there's some rust right here on the yoke. And then the speaker is partly disintegrated on the inside where the paper is located. But here is the outer casing of the TV. But there's the CRT, and here is, I'm going to show you all where the uh, crack is in the neck. The crack is um, right here. You see where it's, hold on, it's kind of hard to point to it. Right where I'm sticking the screwdriver is where the crack is. Right there. The crack in the tube is right there. I don't know if you all can see that on the um, camera, but the video, but that's the issue. Now everything else is in decent condition besides the rust. The yoke is in good condition. The conversions rings have never been messed with as far as I know because the adhesive glue is still attached on there right now. You can see the outer tube has some scratches on the lead. And... There's your circuit board. And like I said earlier, there's your rust right there on the cable box. And all of the um, buttons work on the tube or on the board. The only button that does not work is this one right here. The channel up button. Everything else works besides the channel up button. I'm glad that the power button works because it's the button that I only need to work to see what's going on with the tube. But yeah, there it is. There's your CRT with a crack in the neck. Now, if you ever have a CRT that shoots blue arcs, I have a video on it a couple weeks ago I made. If you ever see the inside the electron gun assembly, if you see blue arcs and you hear popping sounds, that's because there is, a, it's more than likely, I'm not saying that's, could be, that's the issue, totally, but it could be the issue. That air is going, making its way inside this tube. Here's the front of the tube, I'll show you, front of the picture tube. And there you go, there's a good look at it. But other than that, that's all I have for you all. And aside to that point, I actually made a video of a homemade CRT discharger. Ignore the black on my finger. That's just Sharpie. Anyway, this is a CRT discharger. I did make this with a screwdriver along with some electrical tape with a copper wire to shoot the ground points out of the CRT, which is the electrical energy. So the way to use this is I did make a video on it once again. You just want to stick it up where the anode button is. Touch both of the electrodes. Once it's stuck up in there, or before you stick that up in there, you want to take 
the end of your copper and connect it to a ground point on a CRT. That could be this right here. That could be this. That could be anything metal on the CRT besides anywhere where the electron or the yoke and the electron gun assembly is. But you can go ahead and stick it maybe right down in here. Now make sure that's definitely touching the metal. Just like that. See, I just wrapped it around. And once that's wrapped around, the um all right, I'm gonna pretend this this is not on right now, but I'm gonna put it on just to pretend. Alright, so once you got this connected to a ground point on the CRT, you can take the discharger or screwdriver and you want to go ahead and stick this end. I know it's not connected. Stick this end, but I know it's not the um, cup is not connected to the tube right now, but it normally is. And you just want to touch both of those electrodes. And if you hear a spark or an arc, that's a good thing. That means you discharge a DV. If you do not hear one, that's it's not good or bad news. That's either that you are not touching it or it's already discharged for you. But if you're not hearing anything and you keep and you know yourself that you're touching those two electrodes, then go ahead and take it at your own risk. Meaning that you're trying your best at it. But they do sell dischargers, especially made for uh, CRTs, especially for the, the um, electron gun. Now, once you're done doing that, and if you do get an arc, you do want to come along to a circuit board right here and take the end of a screwdriver with insulator on it, which is rubber, and you just want to scrape it up and down and touch at almost every single one of those, especially the yoke panel, neck panel. You want to touch all of those. Now, these could possibly maintain energy. If they did, it's not going to, it's not going to, kill you it's not gonna hurt what will hurt if you just hit a small capacitor you're not gonna get hurt but you will get a little ch shock if you do not discharge everything if you plug a tv in and you don't discharge it you unplug it immediately and you go ahead and touch inside of there you're probably 95 out of 100 percent going to get shocked but yes that is gonna wrap up the tutorial on the neck on the tube that is cracked like I said it's right there but there it is hopefully you all enjoyed this video I do have more some more videos coming up on CRT TVs and what dangerous points the next video that I'm gonna have is a review on the danger most dangerous points on a CRT so I'm going to show you what are all, all of the dangerous points on a CRT and show you what to stay away from before you discharge and what not to stay away from. Once you're discharged, the entire unit is safe as long as you make sure yourself that it's discharged. But that is the crack in the neck once again. And you can go ahead and check out. I have a video from a couple weeks ago. It's called CRT has issues with electron gun. And it has a thumbnail of the electron gun. So you can go ahead and check that out. And then this, this video relates to that video. And you can read the comments. And you can see one guy told me what the issue was. But thank you for the comment who told me what the issue was. It really helped me out. It taught me something and it taught you all something. And I'm going to go ahead and put this unit back together. And that will be the end of the video. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you soon.